Welcome back to video eight of North Cut Cut. This is the final video in the series. We're going to get the painting done today. So stick around and I'll show you what it's going to look like when we get finished. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's bonus video time. The bonus again is that you don't have to look at my ugly mug while I'm doing this part of the job. As anybody that's been following me for a while knows that I like to use one shot brand of paints when I am applying over the outside of the Halcyon. And I like the one shot. It's a very good high quality enamel paint. And when I am Applying it over something like this where I can't put the clear coat on it. This is the paint that I rely on because One shot was actually formulated um, For the automotive industry specifically for Pinstriping and a lot of us carvers like it on our products as well for that particular reason. It's a high quality. It's a good quality enamel and therefore it's going to stand up the elements better than some of the lesser priced paints that you can get out there on the market. It does cost a little bit more but as far as I'm concerned the quality is worth the price. So I don't ever second guess it. I just buy it because I know it works. Now I, I use this little stick to stir up my paint, but I also use it to dip my paint as you've seen. Um, that keeps me from overloading my brush. Again, that's, you know, I talked about that earlier in one of the, in one of the earlier videos, but uh, to me, it just helps me keep from overloading and putting too much paint on the project, spilling it and whatnot. Okay, I'm not gonna bore y'all with a lot of silence while I do this painting. Uh, so I'm gonna put some music on and uh, let y'all watch and listen while I do all this because uh, putting painting on or putting paint on is about as much fun as watching paint dry. <laughs> so, Y'all enjoy.
All right, we're going to do the last touch up that we need to do on the sign and we're going to do a better uh, drawing of the Cruiser Air logo on the side of the coach. And then the last thing I'll have to do from there is to make the stand on the back and get it attached, but that's gonna be real simple to do. So what I have here is a, uh, a, a very fine tip paint pen. It's a paint marker. And um, so I'm just going to attempt to cover over this and make sure that we've got it just exactly how we want it. So it's kind of just touching over things, what we're doing. I don't want to get it real thick. I'm afraid if I do, it would not look good. Okay. But y'all, I had a tough time getting this enamel paint of the white to dry the last couple of days. It was just incredibly hard to get this stuff to dry. In fact, what I ended up doing was turning on the heater in my shop as hot as it would go and leaving this thing enclosed for nearly 24 to 36 hours before it was actually dry enough that I could touch the white and not leave fingerprints. So it was very frustrating because it held me up and it held up Steve and Janet from getting their sign sooner. But we're still going to get it in time for them to make their trip this weekend. They've got a trip scheduled up this weekend and we're going to get it to them. Okay. That actually touched up pretty good. Got a few little spots that I want to touch back up just a little bit more. Okay, I have to say overall I'm pretty pleased with the way that small little fine detail worked out. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to let that dry and then uh, I'm going to set up on the table saw and I'm going to cut out the shape for the backer board. Uh, it's not a, not a backer board, but it's actually a, a stand. And we're going to stand it up at approximately this kind of angle right here. Uh, and then the stand is going to collapse so that um, it can lay flat while they're transporting it. And uh, but anyway, I've got to build that. I've got the hinges and everything to put it on there with. So this is the last thing that I need to do. And um, we should be able to make delivery today with this thing. So uh, I appreciate it. We'll be back here momentarily. All right. The next tool I'm going to bring in, introduce to y'all, is called a Vix bit. And what this is, this is going to find the exact center hole in the hinge and it's going to drill a small little pilot hole. And it, what it does is it just helps get everything lined up exactly as we want it to be. And I want this to be able to flop down right there. So I'm, that's where I want it right there. So all I'm going to do is just set it right there and then drills me a pilot hole. There we go. Drills me another pilot hole. Okay, off camera, I went ahead and I finished the uh, little stand. I trimmed it out with uh, lacquer, and that's a good, good grade material to use. And then I already used the big bit and pilot drilled my holes. So now what I want to do is go ahead and screw these in. And, uh, and then what I need to do is I measure the, the length of how much I want this to uh, stand up by. Okay. <clears throat> so, what I want is I want to see it stand at about 
that angle right there that gives it pretty good stance and I think that leaves it straight enough up and down let me focus back on this thing so now what I want to do is I want to take my scale and I want to measure the distance that this is going to be and that is roughly about five and a quarter inches that tells me how long I want to cut this is a real streaming strong hard of uh, strong grade of ribbon that I've got and I'm going to uh, uh, use some CA glue and glue that to the uh, back of the board and to the back of the the sign so that it'll uh, stay in place and hold it up so well welcome to the wrap up of North Cut Cut this has really been a fun project for me to do and I want to thank Janet and Steve for allowing me to make this sign for them. I hope they enjoy it and have as much fun with it as I did making it. Uh, I like to wrap up and recap what we've done uh, on the signs. So again, this started out with a two inch thick live edge cedar slab and I cut it a little bit longer than or wider than I needed it to be on the finished dimension so that I had a good flat platform for my router base to work on so it was safe. Uh, and then after we had it cut down to the starting length and we went ahead and did the uh, put the stencil on and and got the drawing laid out and then we went into the carving and after we got the carving done then we did some of the basic colors of the black and the blue uh, under and the silver underneath the the halcyon. So then we sprayed the halcyon, and again, that was a two-day process because I could only put four coats on per day. And um, then we put the white paint over the top of the halcyon because if we put it under it, there's a chance that the uh, halcyon can turn the white a, a tint of yellow, and that wasn't what we wanted. Uh, so I've learned along the hard way of putting all the white paint on top of my finishes, then I don't have to worry about it. Uh, tarnishing or changing colors and then um, obviously I did the cruiser air on top of the white because I wanted to get that done that way as well so then the last thing I had to do which you just recently saw was to go ahead and make the stand for it to stand up uh, like it is and um, so now it is a done project I'm just uh, waiting to get a hold of Janet and Steve and, and uh, see when they want to come pick this up because they do have a trip scheduled this weekend that they want to go on and they want to take it with them. So um, they can pick it up today or they can get it tomorrow, whatever their schedule is going to allow. I'm, I'm going to accommodate them. Um, and if uh, need be, I'll take it to them. So um, hey, I want to thank everybody for following me along the way. I appreciate all the compliments and the comments and even the questions that I got. And I'm really tickled that some of the processes that I did jogged memories of uh, some of my fellow woodworkers and, and some of the things that they did in a younger age. So, hey, that's a bonus for me. I enjoyed uh, listening and reading the stories that y'all told me in the comments. So I appreciate every one of them. So I will see y'all when I start my next project, which will be kicking off in another day or so. So uh, thanks a bunch, and we'll see you then. So have a good one.